Hey guys, so in this video I will show you how I replaced this part and how I by doing that fixed the problem that I got after my i3 had done about 60,000 kilometers. And this part is a locking mechanism for the charging socket in the car. So this one locks and prevents the cable from being pulled out while charging. And uh, the problem I were getting is that this lock uh, were not releasing the charging cable and thus getting me stuck at um, various public chargers and sometimes even at home, but mostly the public ones. So it sounded as if the motor in here were getting like worn out or too weak to pull the spin up and therefore getting stuck. And the reason I believe this mostly happened at public chargers is because of the added weight of the cable and therefore creating more friction on the locking pin. So you're going to need to remove 13 of these and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then there is 7 and there is 3 of them under here. One, Two, three, and then one is in the back over here, one in the back a little bit further up, and that should be the 13. Yeah, so I missed one, and that one is where the red arrow is. And after that you're gonna need to find and remove these two, and these are the two that's uh, 10 millimeter, that one and this one. And after that it's gonna pop straight out. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So the thing you're gonna see me do next is unplug the two cables that um, connect in here. And that's one. So these two cables go to the lighting and to the mechanism that opens the charging lid. And, and uh, the part that we're gonna remove now is uh, this cover here. And usually if you have the wheel off and the wheel um, inner liner, you can probably poke it and the, the poke like the pin from the inside and it's gonna be easier that way. And you might want to use something like this tool but this one is not really gonna work on both of the sides. It's, it, it's gonna work here even though it makes it a little bit hard to, to get a good feel for it but over here it's not because you can hit the, the flap for the door. I find it easier if you just use something like a flathead um, small, thin, flathead screwdriver. And that's one. And then you gotta be careful to not break this one, like I did. Um, you could just get a replacement if you break it too much. Or try to glue it together. this one is out and this is for this attached wheel so you understand now why you need to come from the outside but this is gonna be easier if you have the wheel and the wheel uh, liner wheel arch off so for this part you should really be using a plastic tool and not a metal tool like I did here And as you see, I just work my way all around here and then it comes loose. So 
So next we're gonna start removing the frame for the charging lid. And you see that I'm just uh, working it all the way around. It's attached in the top and in the bottom in two places. And as this one comes loose, you can see where my left thumb is. This, this little plastic cover comes loose too. You cannot remove that or put that one back um, unless the door, uh, the, the frame for the door is in this position. And here we have the mechanism for the for opening and closing the door, and that one is attached with two small tabs in the top. And after that, it just uh, falls out. So release the blue cable, the emergency pull cable, and remember what orientation this one came through. So it comes from the bottom and up. So the best way for uh, removing the whole section here is to actually close the lid and then uh, pull it out. So for this part I would probably recommend putting some tape or something over the, the plugs, the connectors here uh, on the charging socket just to be a little bit extra safe and cover it up. And here I just had to remove these four screws. Okay, so we tried to use these um, security Torx bits, and the thing is that you might think that these are going to work, but they're not, because these Torx are um, six pointy bits on it, and BMW uses one, are using one that's uh, with a five, so it doesn't work. But we just found out that a small flathead does it if it's not too hard. Might just check the other side too. Yep. It's coming loose. So that's it, that was all of the disassembly done and from now on it's just about putting everything, everything back together. So make sure to get the blue emergency pull cable routed through the right way. And it's going to come through this um, grey hole on the mechanism here and then up through the red plastic part. And take note now of... Um, I'm installing this piece before I push the hole frame for the for the lid in. You see that it's still semi out. It's not all the way in because if you push it all the way in, it's gonna catch where my uh, it's gonna catch on the left side of the charging socket. And the same for this piece, this little cover piece here. It has to be installed before you push the whole um, frame assembly for the lid in too far.
so that's the order it has to be done in. If you do, if you push the whole thing in before you get to this part, um, it's gonna be really hard to get it in, or maybe not even work. Then you have to take it out again. Um, the lighting is really easy. You just um, line it up and then push it in, basically. So now we're gonna connect these two cables and these two are really easy, they just snap in place. So make sure to try to close and open the charging lid a few times, just to make sure that the mechanism is, um, is working fine. And then reinstalling this one is just uh, getting the orientation right. So a small tip here is to start with the two nuts that go on the right side and that's gonna hold the whole pa plastic piece in place while you put the rest of the screws in it. So remember that all of these fasteners here are from plastic and uh, they should probably not be tightened too hard. So yeah, here you see me putting one of these plastic uh, nuts back that uh, it actually fell out before, so I just had to put that one back. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to the end of this uh, small project and if you have any questions or so, just put them below in the comments section and I will try to help you out if I can. So now charging works perfectly fine and especially getting released and unlocked from the charger works perfectly fine. I tried it a few times and every time works perfectly. Just like that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.